Hey, hey, Crips here, and welcome yet again. Good Lord, yet again. All right, something very popular on the internet, or a lot of people like to do, is grab a black and white photo, and then part of it just colorize it. So if it's a bowl of fruit, they just want to colorize the apple. Um, that seems to be quite popular, and I'll show you how I do it in less than four or five minutes. So here we go. Grab the photo you want to use, go straight into the Edit tab. Okay, let's just move this into the center of the screen. Go to image, split your channel. So I'm going to split my red, greens, and blues. So there you go. I'm going to probably use uh, my red channel. So I don't need this. I don't need this one. So I'm going to copy the red or the black and white picture onto my color. So right click onto the black and white photo and just copy that. And then right click onto your color photo and paste it as a new layer. I no longer need the red uh, red channel, so I'm going to delete that red channel. Yeah, whatever. All right, so all I need to do now is just erase out the parts that I want to bring back to life or bring the colors back because I've got the black and white pasted over the color, so the color is underneath. So grab your eraser tool. Uh, if I hold down my Alt key and my left mouse button and then just move my mouse down, the uh, eraser tool gets larger, and then it's just a matter of deleting parts of the black and white out to bring back the color photo which is underneath now if i don't hold, do anything and just use my mouse wheel i can zoom right in on the picture All right, so that just gives me a more well a better view sort of like a close-up okay if i take it one step further i will uh, hide the color photo and i'm just going to erase out the dude on the bike the dude on the bike now i'll do this as quick as i can but let's be honest i'm i'm, I'm making a tutorial to show you how to do this so it doesn't really need to be perfect i'm not sure why but my computer seems to be running slow see how my my cursor is moving kind of like well, it's jerking it shouldn't do that it's probably been on the computer all day and i need to refresh my ram i'm just talking to fill in time that's all i'm doing because there's nothing worse than just sitting there watching a dude click on a screen for four four or five minutes well it's not even that all right so we're getting there like i said it doesn't need to be perfect i'm just one more thing the boot and right, let's bring that color photo back and there it is so yeah it's not perfect i get it there happy your job to make it perfect not me all right so here we go so i immediately uh, got the effect that we were looking for black and white and the subject is then colorized and, and that was done within three minutes so it's not too bad right uh that was it but i can show you a little bit more because now that i have created a layer i can then use blend modes to even change the background so in case you want to do this very simple I highlight your black and white layer and then just go into your blend modes and then just choose what you want to do. So if I choose multiply, you'll see that the center picture, which is the guy on the bike, stays the same. But then the background changes. So you can almost create the depth of field by adding a blur effect on the back background. So you need to do that is by going into adjust layer and then blur and then Gaussian blur. And then you can change it. But bear in mind, it is a black and white photo, so you're not really going to achieve a lot of a blur but if you've got, uh, let's see, let's go back to a normal view. So back to my black and white and color photo. What happens if you've got a cool plugin like Alien Skin? Let's go effects, uh, plugins, and use Alien Skin. So I could completely change the background. <laughs> let's do, well, I, always, I always pick really cheesy, corny stuff. So let's do marble. Yep, why not, right? So there you go. So I immediately just completely changed the background. Like I've cut out the guy and I was able to then change the background. All of this is done within such a short time. And that, my friends, is how you can go from this ordinary looking photo, I'll show you, to the effect that a lot of people want. And as always, you guessed it. Thanks for watching.